The information in this video is provided for informational and educational purposes only. Welcome to Dose of DN, where you'll get a little shot of what my life is like living with SMA. I think last time I mentioned that I was having some wheelchair issues. And really, I've been just hesitating calling the DME, Durable Medical Equipment Company, because I know it's going to be such a headache and a process. And the issues I've been having aren't really uh, huge. My chair is still functional. Uh, however, I'm thinking I need to have these issues taken care of before they do become a problem. One of the reasons I hesitated was because I know what a headache it is. And, of course, when I called initially, I have had to talk to three different people before I got an appointment scheduled to even diagnose the problems. I... Uh, Finally talked to a uh, service guy who um, they can do the remote through text and video to diagnose some of the problems, but one of the issues I'm having is that when I elevate my chair, I get a bad cable message. And he says the technician actually has to come and um, diagnose it to find out which cable it actually is. And so I figured I'd have to wait for weeks and weeks for that appointment. However, when he looked at his schedule, they have a technician in my area today, which, well, yesterday I talked on the phone, so he said tomorrow, which is today. So I'm anxiously waiting for someone to show up anytime between 11 and 4. Uh, so... Luckily, I work from home, and I thought I'd take this opportunity of waiting to talk to you guys. I'll insert a little clip here of what my chair is doing. There it goes. See, I'm not pushing a button, and my wheelchair is going down, down, down. It's just crazy. It does it sometimes, but not all the time. But when you have balance issues, you can't be having that. A few other issues of my chair are the tires. I know I've been uh, spinning tires when I'm going over thresholds, so I'm pretty sure I need new tires. And then I wanted to have him take a look at the elevator for the Jayco arm. I think it's stuck. I can't get the elevator part to work. I did get my Jayco back, though, so I'm happy about that. Um, otherwise... I was going to ask about batteries and then uh, just see if there's anything else for wheelchair maintenance that I need to be doing. I want to hear from you guys below. Do you get your chair serviced right away when you find something is wrong with it? Do you bide your time for a while? Um, do you find it easy to work with your wheelchair representatives and company? I want to know about it. Either leave a comment below or head on over to the forums at smanewstoday.com forward slash forums. But that's all I have for you today. I will keep you posted on the wheelchair repairs and how long they take. We'll talk again soon. Bye for now.